my channel for those of you who don't know me my name is Pamela today's day four of my one pal for a week series in case you missed days one through three they'll always be linked down below for you guys but if you're not interested or curious at all just know we are working with the Anastasia Beverly Hills subculture palette for today's look I've noticed that I haven't really incorporated much of the like um, metallic shades or the foil shades or whatever um, I'll be straight up the foil shades in here are not not my favorite. They don't pack a mean punch like anything else that I've used. I only have the soft glam palette to compare it to, but the metallics or the um, foiled eyeshadows in that palette are beautiful and they're stunning. Um, the only one that's, you know, a standout is Adorn. So I felt like using it today all over the eyelid. Um, and as you can see, it just looks stunning. I also really wanted to just focus on this quad here. I've never really paid too much attention until today. And I noticed that this little quad that's going on here is gorgeous and I was like I'm gonna put all four of those colors you know um, and make a complete look on my eyes today and as you can see those colors ended up completing an entire look I think the look looks really really pretty this like this one is going to replace my go-to look because I like this one so much better and it was so much easier to create so um, I don't have any more babbling and yes I cut my hair so uh, let's just get right into this Yes. Okay, so I've already primed and set my eyelids. I just went in with concealer and a translucent powder. So the first color I'm going to pick up is New Wave, and I'm going to take this on a pretty big fluffy brush, and I'm going to place this color in the crease and just apply a little bit onto my eyelid. It doesn't have to be perfect. Then I'm gonna take a little bit of fudge and I'm actually going to use the brush the palette comes with. Um, sometimes I like this brush, sometimes I don't. It depends on what I'm doing, but because I'm just sort of focusing this color on the outer V and then blending it into the crease, I'm just gonna use the brush that it comes with. Then I'm gonna take the other side of the brush and sort of blend this out. Make sure it's nice and soft. Just gonna go back in with my first brush and continue to blend. Now I'm gonna take Adorn and I'm just gonna, now I'm gonna go into Adorn and I'm basically just going to apply this with my finger. This color only works really, really well if you apply it with your finger. And so I'm basically gonna take that color and apply it all over my lid. Go back in with the Anastasia Beverly Hills brush that comes with the palette and just blend this out. Picking up a little bit more fudge, right, and, and placing it right there, perfect. So I'm gonna go ahead and apply some eyeliner. I'm just gonna do a basic line across the eye. Then I'm gonna do my face makeup and we'll come back for the lower lash line. Yay. Okay, so for the lower lash line, I'm gonna go into the shade Destiny and I'm gonna use that same Anastasia brush, just the smudging side. And I'm going to apply this into, yep, the lower lash line. take the tiniest bit of New Wave and I'm going to be placing it right underneath where I put Destiny. I'm going to take a little bit of Electric and I'm going to stick that in the inner corner today. And then of course, last but not least, I'm gonna go in with a ton of mascara. Okay, so I put on Check Please by ColourPop. It is this crazy bright orange color. And when I saw it, I thought it was a good idea, but I don't know, I don't know about this color on me. 
let me know what you think of it. Um, I think it's just a little too much, but I wanted to share it anyway just so that you could see that uh, I tried a bright orange color lipstick, but I'm going to change it and then in the next clip you'll see that I am wearing the color that I wore in my intro and in the outro. Okay. Yeah. All right, as you can see, that's so much better than that bright orange color that I had. So uh, that's all I've got for you guys today, and hopefully you enjoyed day four of my One Palette for a Week series. I really liked today's look. Uh, again, this palette just keeps showing that it is something that you can totally rock on an everyday basis. I love that I was able to incorporate a little bit of that green in the lower lash line without making it clash or look like it was out of place. All these colors just complement each other so well, in my opinion. If you're curious, on my lips, I ended up going in with Taurus. Um, brown lipstick is my favorite with any sort of copper like eye. I always just think that they complement each other super duper well and they look very pretty. So, uh, yeah. If you like this video, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and spread my love for makeup. And I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye bye.